Today we are checking out this game called Gord. This has been one of the higher played games that I saw part of the Steam Next Fest. I've only seen really one clip on Twitter from Co Carnage of this game, and it was a very interesting choice that he had to make whether he was going to sacrifice people to a tree. Uh, that's all I really know other than it's a strategy survival style game where you control your colony or your party. Um, and that's it. So with that said, I guess we're going to go straight into the uh, campaign for the demo and see how this is. So game difficulty, we'll go standard. Gods favor you with uh, abundance, but you can't win your battles for but can't win the battles for you. You start with a fair amount of resources, moderate health rate, and faith gain. Your enemies are at basic threat level. Start game. Over the years, Calanthia grew under my rule. My campaign to unite the South is almost over. As we speak, my son is directing our army against the remaining forces of the Southern Resistance. Once we're done there, we shall take the North. It's filled with all sorts of vile creatures, but also rich in the gold that I need. Only a few barbaric tribes are desperate enough to oh inhabit these lands. I don't like that. As my steward, you will have one of them at your disposal. The Tribe of the Dawn. Okay. Secure the Golden Root before our army arrives. My emissary, Edwin, will watch your progress. Fail me, and you will face a fate much worse than any of the savages you've ever fought before. Off to a great start. Do not fail me or you will face worse than savages. The tribe of the Dawn was always a humble community of Dabo Ooh. worshippers. Their elder, Bogdan, is neither a warrior nor a strategist. When the Calanthians came with their threats and promises, they had no choice but to obey. They agreed to guide them through the Lazatian forests, hoping for peace and survival. That's awesome. They actually have voice lines in the loading screen. Press any button. There we go. Hey, what's up, Bree? Uh, we've gone through two games already. We checked out Here Eater Knights. Here we are, Stuart. No wonder our king chose you for this mission. And the You're Abyss. You're more than worthy of this disgusting land. Are you sure we're in the right place? Or Luna Abyss, that's Where what it was. Where is that meek old coward who calls himself a leader? Welcome, Bogdan. My lord. I am Bogdan, elder of the tribe of the Dawn. I will guide you through the Lasatian woods. But, if I may, where are your warriors? The king's forces will come when the time is right. Until then, we are your new masters. As pledged, my lord. My tribe will follow the orders of the king's steward. They are your people now. I trust you'll take good care of them. We will, if they do their work. Did they find a place to set up camp? Yes, sir. Our scouts have found a good spot for our first gourd. A nearby pond should provide enough reeds and food to start a small settlement. Okay. The upper right controls. It's random, but it's my birthday. Uh, you being live is perfect. And, hey, well, happy birthday. I hope it was a uh, good birthday for you. And uh, thanks for stopping by, too, especially on your special day. That's awesome. Move the camera around. Zoom in. Zoom out. Rotate camera. Got it. My lord, please order our subjects to move. We should follow our scouts' footsteps. We are not safe here. 
Subjects. Here you can see all your living subjects with detailed information displayed on their portraits, such as profession, icon, health bar, and sanity bar. Currently hidden and current modifiers. They're all sleepy, it looks like. Select a subject. Switch between subjects. Select all subjects and reach the marked location. So hold and drag and then right click the order, the bonfire. Reach the marked location. What's the, oh, okay, I see, I see. Let's travel down here. Everybody go. So you can add a queue for your people. That's Ratchet cool. Wolves. Those are the bodies of our scouts. Oh no. There isn't much for us to bury, but it seems like one got away. With Dabo's help, he'll find his way back to us. The minimap gives you a top-down view of the surrounding terrain with all sorts of interactive objects marked appropriately. By using this filter, you can hide and show every category of the objects available on the map. The senses view provides you with additional tracker information or tactical information about your surroundings, including highlighting enemies and interacting objects, displaying sanity and faith gain ranges, and displaying a selected subject's range of sight and range of healing. Hearing. A lot of tutorial. <laughs> a lot of important important information is displayed in the panels of the left uh, menu. Notifications about important events, status changes, main quest, side quests, information panel. Regarding anything can be actively marked. Got it. I mean, these games always require a lot of tutorial to kind of show you the way anyways. So I get it. Status unknown. Can we loot? Reach the first pond. Alright, uh, let's travel, people. I wonder if they can understand us. Oh. Combat. Enemies have multiple attacks, special abilities, and buffs. Uh, some attacks may... Oh wait, some may attack the closest subject while others focus on the weakest use strategies, subject professions, items, and strengths to prevail in battle. Oh boy. Attack! No! Okay. What is this? Ooh, health. Okay, nice. Is everybody healthy again? All right, let's get over here. So it's actually a, uh, like a real time strategy style game. I was thinking this was going to be more turn based, but I like that. That's cool. Sir, we've reached the pond our scouts told us about. It is indeed a fine location for a gourd. We have access to water, reeds, and other resources here. But first, let's build a palisade. These wooden walls will be the main defense of our new settlement. This panel shows the amount of uh, resources you have. You can also see the parameters. Whenever is used to build structures of the initial one, each food as basic upkeep. Gold is required by military professions, which we introduce later in the campaign. Bay and iron is used for upgrades. Construction, okay. Population and the incantation. Construction menu, you can build new structures. Population menu, lists of all subjects, new birth progress. <laughs> How long you must wait before a new child to be... Oh, really? So, okay. And uh, birth progress, 
If there's popularity capacity, then people living in the settlement. The incantation menu is used for casting spells, which will be introduced later in the campaign. Pick the available structure from the construction menu and place it in the available area. Start building a palisade. Whoa. Meet the construction requirements. It's uh, right here. Okay. Misnin suggests Stargard, sure. Build a palisade. Oh, that's awesome. Everybody actually bands together. I see why this game had so many people playing it. All right, let's fast forward a little bit. Beautiful. Ugh, the palisade will keep us safe. Now we need to think of how to make use of the resources we have. Hold on, old fool. This is just a minor stop on our way to the cartographer. He's waiting for us with instructions on how to reach the gold. I don't want to grow roots in this dump. My, my lord, I promise we will move on as soon as we have fortified our current position. For now, I suggest building a lumber mill, a forager's hut, and a thatchery. <sighs> a lumber mill does sa- Okay. So a lumber mill. Oh, that's awesome. It ought, dude, that is really good. Depending on the center of your uh, area, it automatically adjusts. That's, that's really cool. All right, we'll put that there. Professions. Professions determine what adults can't and can do, or can and can't do. To switch the subject's profession, order them to into a relevant structure with an available work slot. If they are a gatherer, they will automatically begin gathering at the desired resource available. Gather the deposit. Okay. Gather and deposit some wood. Switch profession to lumberjack. Does anybody have a, uh, uh, let's see, party? Hunter. What is this guy? Clay worker. Oh, I see. They all have one. Scout. Wheat farmer. So Egan's our iron man. I iron miner. I don't know. Hmm? Wait, oh my god. So they'll just automatically start like cutting down trees. Suggested assignments, available subject, not assigned, unassigned, current assignment. Cutting experience three. Oh. Our brother hasn't done much lately. Oh wait, move him to this slot. Quest finished. Build a theatry. Put it right there. Build, build, build. Go, go, go. Faster. Very good. Suggested assignments. Get to work, boy. <laughs> so it's kind of cool that it gives you suggested ones. 
I like that. Gather and deposit some reed. They're going to gather it. They're grabbing more. Look at them go. Egan and Sal Salvato. Gathering range of lumber mill has been changed automatically. So I guess if you uh, get out of a spot, then they'll just automatically go out and get more. And they'll keep doing it until they're full. Yeah, that's awesome. All right, here they go. They're about to drop it in. Quest finish. I suppose you people are used to starvation, but I- Oh! Uh, if I may, our people had some rations saved, but we will run out soon. We need to start gathering food. Your subject need to eat. Hungry people lose sanity quickly. Food can be obtained by certain professions through trading or found by exploration level. Build a forager's hut. Put this one right here. Do I have to sign people to build it? Go build. Build, build, build. Building and upgrading more versatile structures raises your gourd's growth. Reach a certain level of growth, unlocks uh, new types of structures, and allows your house more subjects. The settlement's growth has significantly increased. Gather and deposit some food. Uh. Oh, here we go. A oh, wrong profession. Mushrooms can be picked by foragers and processed into food. What is that? Oh, so I can have them go back here. Oh, forager! Right, right, right. This—that's this one. Who's unassigned? This person's really good at this. Uh, lumber mill. I'll have this person go to. I really like how it, how it gives you suggestions for each like hut. Kind of cool. We don't have any people doing this right now, so let's. Sire, thank you for providing us with food. Even though starvation won't make us bleed, it will weigh heavily upon our subjects' mental state. If we neglect their sanity, they will flee our rule. Huh. Subordinates like that should be punishable by death. Feeble minds. Hmm. In Calanthia... My lord, we don't have wine here, but... Mead, you said. However, the basic comfort of staying within the range of a torchlight Helps a lot in our sanity regeneration. Yes, ah, yes. yes. So we need to make something to bring sanity up. Next level, the gourd sanity represents the average mental health of the subjects under your role. It affects the pace of which new children are born. Most common gourd sanity influences factors. The food supply gives you the most. Military not paid. Subjects lost. Okay. Oh, boy. Subjects in darkness minus. Oh, boy. Sanity recovery. To recover sanity and avoid experiencing mental afflictions, try using yellow herbs or a uh, meadery. A meadery. You can also stand in light or new caverns, kill enemies, or receive rewards in quests or trade off choices. New stru uh, structures available. Meadery. Yeah, let's make one of these. Build a meadery. Uh, right here. Uh, 
All right, let's have. Two people go build it. Sign a subject to a metery. Oh my god, we have so many now. Uh, sanity. Wait, so is it good when it's high or good, bad when it's low? <laughs> Assign to the instructor. Subjects will go to the metery, change profession, and start working as invalid ID. <laughs> nice. All right, we'll have this person go and this one. They have the lowest sanity, so. Torchlight allows you to spot enemies in the eternal darkness. It also prevents your subjects from losing sanity. Make sure you don't stay in the dark for too long. Build a scout's tower. Not enough resources. We need more. We need more wood. Uh a new determination fills oh, yeah. the hearts of the people. Okay. So you want it to be high. Brother awaits your command, sire. A brother awaits your commands? Who's that? Egan, what are you doing? Is that Egan? Yo, what's up, Bryce? Been playing a lot of SWOTOR recently. Do you know uh, any free games like SWOTOR I could play that are similar or any free games, really? Right now, there's tons of games on Steam. If you're looking for something like that, um, it's probably a good time to check out some of that stuff. Aside from that... Um, well, by that, I mean there's tons of free demos to check out. Um, trying to think what else. Okay, we need to make the scout tower. Let's make it right here. And I'll sign two people. Make this lady. And this one. Um, I'm trying to think what else are good story. This is a game recently. Story MMO. The confidence of the people surges. I mean, there's Final Fantasy 14. If you never played it, it's not very similar to it. But if you kind of like the uh, strong story for an MMO, could be worth checking out. Uh, two, two, and we'll do two. Sign a subject to the scout's tower. Oh, never mind. This is the best one. There you go. Salvato. All right, old man. I know that hygiene isn't your best suit, but don't your people ever wash? Stuart and I could use a bath. Eh. Yes, of course, my lord. Our balia is constructed in a way not only to provide hot water, but also make the best use of our healing herbs to- Huh? Heard that, Stuart? Ah, okay. Health regeneration. Subjects' health regeneration very slowly over time. 
If you need up to heal faster, Balia, Red Herb, Armor Services, or Incantation. New structure is available. So, build a Balia. Let's build one right here. Our source of wood has been depleted. Oh no. Uh, is there anybody low sanity? Everyone's at about 3,000. Sign of subject to the value. <laughs> okay. Uh, is everybody, everybody's health is good right now. One of our people came across some familiar tracks. We should search this area of the forest. Campaign progress. You may, uh, you're about to finish the first scenario of the campaign mode. Once the last main objective of a given scenario is complete, you will automatically transition to another scenario along with the subjects, but the settlement you built is going to be left behind. No! Track the scouts. All right, well. Do we select everyone? Everyone. Come to the center. Our source of wood has been depleted. Okay. Let us go track the scout. Mm -hmm. Together. Oh god. Attack! Our brother is in danger. Jeez. Whoa, I didn't realize there was going to be full cutscenes. Keeps telling me about the palisade we built. What is he blabbering on about? I can't understand a word. He claims he was attacked by the wild folk, people of the forest. But they have never attacked us before, unless they were provoked. Clearly, they had a change of heart. He says they're walking towards the Votenga River, west of here. I fear that they may raid our lord. Uh, our cartographer was supposed to be west of here as well. We cannot lose him. Let's move. No. If I move my mouse, that thing goes away. But if I stop moving it, it pops back up again. Oh boy. Success. You have led the first steps of our people into the hostile forest. We built a prosperous gourd and rescued our man trapped by savages. Now we need to repel the incoming wind, uh, wild folk raid. Do you wish to continue playing this campaign? Yes, let's proceed. The wild folk used to live like wild animals, and although they can be violent, conquest was one of the many new human game every day. I don't know how you do it. Sorry, I missed that. Nonetheless. They became more well, right now we're doing demos and attack the tribe of the Dawn's Gourd. I wonder if they are doing this to praise Velus. Honestly, I was really close to I uh, like just playing one of the games that I've been meaning to go back to, Red Dead Assassin's Creed Origins. Like I I want to get back into playing like the same games, same like three or four games until I finish them. Um, I think I'm going to kind of stop unless if I know it's a game that I can add to my rotation. I'm going to try to stop doing that and just play like the same three to four games until they're done and then add something to the list. Uh, it's only an issue because there's so many games coming out. I mean, we have 
Final Fantasy dropping in two days, so that's going to 100% be a big part of the rotation, but we'll see. Before the start of every scenario, you'll get a chance to get to know your uh, subject boys. <laughs> your subject's bo bi oh, bios. <laughs> I read it as boys. Uh, strengths, weaknesses, experience levels, items. Once you get a sense of who the you'll get to manage, it's best to provide each member of your team with a unique name. Starting group. I saw they have something with uh, Twitch uh configuration or integration i mean choose your group huh so she's looking for a new place to call home but refuses to disclose why she departed her previous one uh oh i don't know what i'm starting with here this is kind of this kind of reminds me of uh these presents are terrifying <laughs> This kind of reminds me a little bit of RimWorld. Little bit. I don't know. I mean, I could stick with the people I have so far. Lumberjack, Scout, Thatcher, Voyager, Forger. Unskilled in fighting, fears, wait, martial artist, strengths, loves winter, boiling blood, fears combat, lazy, pacifist, slow recovery, zealous, work driven. Curious, big spender, handyman, production, inca food production, incapability. Inca Oh, great. Okay, well, let's stick with this uh, group that we have so far. My lords, the wild folk, they've attacked our gourd. Hurry now, or there will be nothing left of our home. To arms! Enemies have breached our defenses. If a palisade section gets destroyed or if an enemy gets inside, the gourd is considered a breach. While this lasts, your subjects will focus on fighting enemies and won't be able to use any structures. Whenever a breach happens, there's time to automatically pause. Please note that uh, that you're still able to issue orders during pause. Take advantage of that. Play resume the time flow whenever you are ready. Oh no, go! Pause. Attack! Go, go, go! Dear God, so much destruction. Those savages dared to destroy our king's property? Sire, this is unusual. The wild folk are not our allies, but they were never desperate enough to raid a fortified gourd. That doesn't matter, you old fool. Of course, sire. Structure damage and repairs. Okay, structure can be damaged uh, or destroyed during battles with enough resources, so I'll just can repair them and clean up the tides. Subjects assigned. Oh, okay, that's awesome. So you can do auto gathering and manual gathering. All right, everybody, can I, how do I tell them like to get back to work? Mm -mm. Oh, maybe it's because it's broken. Signed to the structure. I feel like there's got to be a way you can tell them, like, okay, go back to what you were doing. Our sister Cordelia awaits your command.
Alright, well, I'm just gonna do it like this then. Three, three. Oh, never mind, I can't. Please designate an assignment to our sister. I'm trying to. Structures can't be interacted with or repaired as a breach of the palisade or when the en enemies are inside the gourd. Uh, get them dubs. <laughs> Yo, what's up? Petty. What is happening? I. It's not letting me. Wrong profession? Oh, shoot. Nobody right now is doing this. Sports statistics. Mm -mm. I can't order them to do anything. Mm -mm. Breach structures can't be interacted with or repaired while there's a breach on the palisade or when enemies are inside the gourd. Uh, oh, do we do this? Repair the palisade. Oh my god. We gotta repair this first. There we go. Okay. Repair the thatchery, repair this. Okay, now we see. <clears throat> Clear the rubble, okay. Everybody do your thing. Yeah, the rubble there. These two can go repair that. equip our subjects with proper weapons to better prepare for what awaits us ah. outside of our walls. Let us build our first military structure. Military costs. Professions can be split into non-military, military professions. Military deal higher damage and feature higher maximum health. However, these are additional. Build an axe pit. Military. So the door will be right there. <clears throat> Who is very good at this? My people have seen this Calanthian a couple of times. Supposedly, he has surrounded himself with traps. Be cautious when you approach his hut. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's have one more person train. All right, find the cartographer's hut. I don't know if I should go with everybody or is there an option to like select all? It checks settings.
camera on gore, toggle game speed, population panel, toggle HUD, select group, save group. All right, Salvo, get in here. Come on, Salvo. Hmm. Oh, no. It's okay. Wait, there was a little girl? What? Uh, uh oh. Wait, we're all split up. Get back. Go. The people of God need sustenance, sire. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, food. Okay, we need food. We need food. Uh, forager? Yes. Okay, let's let's do a little bit of this stuff first then. Two. Did I make one? Oh, I, I need a forager hut, that's why. Where did this kid come from? Building as a child? They can fight, build, pray, assist other subjects, and they can also... Interesting. Now we got three. Let's assign one person here that's not part of the Forgers. Uh, we'll take one from the lumber mill. And one more from the lumber mill. Birth, I guess. <laughs> One, one. Yeah, that's good. Good, 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 good. Fishing shack? Oh, we don't have a scout. Oh, boy. Assume the scout profession. Uh, last subjects to assume the scout profession. Forget what this does, though. I'll take one guy from the forager's hut, Salvato. Can be the scout. Then let's go fishing shack. Hey, 
Everyone's so busy. Go build, Salvato. What? Someone has harmed our brother? Cadfell, where are they? Did they get into a fight? All right, we got our food up. We need to get our wood and reeds up. So, do that. Oh God, there's nobody here. Changing? Don't take anyone from Thatchery. Let's do this. Wait, will the kid actually go get wood? <laughs> oh no, there's another kid. What the hell? Where are they coming from? <laughs> yeah, we need to get more wood. Who's the best? This one. So the percentage, the sanity level is hopeful. So that's good. God. everybody let's put them all in the center we travel together let's go I don't know how to tell them to drop stuff. Oh, drop resource. Mm -hmm. Attack! Assist mm -hmm. adult? gonna be stuck in the cutscene. Yeah, I have to move it. Oh god, what happened? Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Okay. Keep your people in line. Why did he flee? The poor soul already suffered so much. Seeing a body mutilated in such a vicious manner. You would think that living here made us indifferent to such views. But it always takes a toll. Your barbarian minds are weak. And this corpse belongs to yet another of your scouts? Oh, damn. N no. Sire. Judging from the robe, I believe this is the cartographer you were searching for. Cursed lands. Ah, forget him. We need his maps. Search the hut. Search this cage. Search everything. One second, chat. Afflictions? Oh boy.
Okay. If the subject's health drops to zero, they experience a physical affliction that can be healed by a hermit. If the subject's sanity drops to zero, they will experience a mental affliction that can be healed by a witch. Sire, we have found the cartographer's notes in his hut. Does it say where to cross the river? I believe it does, my lord. But the marked route requires crossing the nearby swamps. It's a very difficult and dangerous area. You dare to question the expertise of a royal cartographer? If he marked it, that's where we're going. Oh boy. Follow the plan, steward. We've wasted enough time. Reach the marked mm -hmm. location. Okay. Traps can be anywhere. Some trigger when you step on them, others when you interact with them. Luckily, each trap can be triggered only once. They can also be disarmed by properly, properly equipped scouts. Yeah. Go, go, go. Oh, God. I never got knocked down. This is a pretty long demo. Is that a witch? You don't just stand there. Help me. Sure. To battle. Incantations, whispers can be powerful spells called incantations, which uh, vary in nature. Each use of its divine power costs faith and triggers a cool thing. Open the incantation menu and cast a spell, Fracture. Use Fracture on the Windfolk. This These cutscenes are awesome. We'll get you for this. Oh my god. Holy. You saved me. Those savages got what they deserved. They attacked our gourd and killed our people. But you, you are not from around here. I am not. I've been a traveler since my village got destroyed. I am Edwin, an admissary of King Isidore II of Calanthia. It <laughs> seems we share common enemies. What was that... thing you just did to these savages? Forest tricks. You pick them up if you live here long enough. But how come savages are a concern to such fine lords as you? I am Bogdan. Elder of the Tribe of the Dawn, humble servants of Davo. Davo? The defeated god of the sun. Watch your tongue, witch. I've lived long enough <laughs> to recognize forbidden magic. Watch your tongue! It. Helping you is a mistake. Whoa! Hold on, old man. Undeniably, Hi, boomer. a new friend has some skills and a grudge against our enemy. I would suggest we join forces and welcome her into our settlement. I wouldn't mind a hot bath. But sir, you yourself keep reminding us how dangerous these lands are. True. Well, we could use every pair of hands, especially hands as skilled as these, to deal with those threats until the Calanthian troops arrive. Couldn't we? Uh, yeah. Very well then. Are you sure you need to go that way? Of course we're sure, woman. Well, I think I already got rid of most of the filth on the way here. But beasts, monsters, and wild folk living in those swamps drained my powers almost completely. Beasts and monsters and... Building a temple and assigning somebody to pray in it would help me recover much faster. <clears throat> yes, 
I believe that we all agree that safety of us, our... Uh, may the gods... I can take care of that, Elder. Sheesh. Faith allows you to use incantations. The quickest way of faith is to order your subjects to pray at a temple. Ha! Ha! Build a temple. So are we building another settlement right here? Or do we go back all the way over to our other one? Time to go out, go back home, I guess. Go, go, go. Wait, what was that? Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. There's a person right there. Whoa, 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 kid, kid, go. Learning new skills. Uh, teaching costs. Sure. So, build a temple. Yeah, there's gotta be a way you can just have them, like, go back to doing whatever job they're doing. Because right now, like, these two people are assigned stuff, but... Panic run? Sign up subject to the temple. Two out of... Oh. Sire, I'm glad that we found time to praise the true gods, but we need to proceed with our plan. The emissary is getting very anxious about it. Okay. Reach the river crossing. Select all these. All right, let's see if we can do this. Everyone together. Oh no, they're all hungry. Well, we're on a journey now. Go, go, go. The kid's running through fire. I mean, to be fair, it's just the demo right now. Do you even know what's ahead of us? Oh boy. A river crossing? Yes, which is also a horror's lair. It's known as Arduin, and it won't let you pass without a sacrifice. Sacrifice? We will wipe this monster from the face of the earth! Killing a horror is not an easy task, sire. No one has attempted such a feat in years. We would need a great deal of experienced warriors to have a fighting chance. It's much more than a monster. It's a sentient demon, conjured from the most vile souls that Velus could stitch together in the underworld. My magic has no effect on it. If you don't want to die, just comply with whatever it asks you for. Or try a different path. I don't want to hear about a different route. We'll the music the sounds great this in creature this. Whatever it desires, or kill it for all I care. It's the steward's decision. Horrors. Horrors are powerful magical creatures guarding the wild lands. Uh, eventually, every tribe has to face the horrors plagues or satisfy their demands. Fighting them is extremely difficult. 
Our David, even Lynx's warning did not prepare you for what you are seeing emerging from the bog, a rotten, deformed monstrosity with a grimacing face that mocks humanity. He slowly raises his blistered hand and points at you. Feed me, a gurgling voice erupts in your mind. Feed me young flesh. Quest requirements. Sacrifice a child to Ardvan. Accept the challenge. Attack Ardvan. Ardav Ardavan? Ardavan? Ardvan? Or decide later. Well, it's the demo. Accept the challenge. Oh, oh my. A sacrifice? Who are we sacrificing? Oh no, the child. Oh wait, we lost one. What happened? Uh oh. I think we just lost it. Do we have one with us? Uh, uh oh. I don't think we have one with us. Oh, here they come. Oh, no! I need to feed you, child! Run! Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> well, there's our path. There's a cutscene. Bro, what the hell? Dear gods. Who could have done this? So many lives lost. What is that? Help me. Get ready to fight. What is that? I don't understand it either, but we should leave immediately. He may return at any time. I agree with the witch, sire. Let's hide in the woods and plan our next move carefully. Success. On your route to gold, you have faced not one but two horrors. We found a magic wielder to help us face these monstrosities. Monstrosities, but it's better that we secure our position before venturing onwards. Do we want to continue playing this campaign? It looks like that's where it stops. Our only other option is no, take me to the main menu. Thank you for playing Gord. You have finished the main tutorials, which introduction to the game's core mechanics. The full game will offer 10 campaign scenarios. Whoa, that's awesome. With all the structures, incantations, environments, monsters, horrors, events, and cinematics the game features. At launch, you will be able to explore our custom scenarios gameplay mode in which you can freely customize your experience and enjoy hours of procedurally generated content. We put all of our hearts into creating the experience for you. We hope you enjoy it. CEO of Covenant.dev. That is awesome. Definitely going to have to check this out when this game drops. 
I think this is probably one of my favorite demos I've played so far. Uh, cause that, yeah, it, it's honestly, it feels like RimWorld a little bit, but it's just, it has cutscenes, different, I, I don't know, it's pretty sick. So, yeah, that's, that was really cool. All right, well, let's, uh, let's go on to yet another game. Let's see what we got next. <laughs> 